Hello, Charleston. Boy, has it been hot lately or what? But we're lucky it's starting to get a little less muggy. Now let's look at what's hot in the news recently around the Holy City. I'm Bill Sharp. The big story in the new June 22nd issue of the Charleston City Paper is everything about electric vehicles. Senior editor Chris Dixon writes about his transformation from loving gas guzzlers into somebody with a newfound passion for electric vehicles. He offers insights into what to look for if you're trying to stop expensive trips to the pump, and we all are trying to do that. In other news, Special Projects editor Herb Frazier shares how the new Magnolia project in the Charleston Neck area is now moving forward after 15 years. The story looks at whether Magnolia will be a jewel of a development or an environmental wart thanks to past industrial uses of that land. In a related online story, reporter Skylar Baldwin shares the interesting history of hazardous waste in the neck. Also in the new issue is a question and answer story with New York Times journalist Jonathan Martin, who soon will be in Charleston to talk about a new book. He discusses the political crisis the country is experiencing and what should happen to pull it away from the brink. The newspaper's weekly editorial reviews winners of the June 14th primary elections and strongly encourages voters to show up June 28th for runoff elections. Publisher Andy Brack shares biodiversity highlights from a recent trip to the Australian state of Queensland, which is South Carolina's sister state. In other recent headlines, nobody was hurt in a June 16th fire in a garage at Charleston International Airport. And fortunately, flight schedules were not affected, according to airport officials. The Gibbs Museum of Art has partnered with Charleston Jazz to present summer concerts featuring original songs written in response to various art on display at the museum. The first concert is today, while others will be July 20th and August 24th. Check the charlestoncitypaper.com for more information. In fact, for more of the latest news and stories on food, art, and music, head over to charlestoncitypaper.com any day of the week and pick up a printed copy at any of 800 locations around the area. And tune in here every week and at the Palmetto Network for this news update from the Charleston City Paper. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bill Sharp.